But yeah, let's get rid of the flyer, because that's annoying. Okay. And now, we can just go ahead and get his other ability, essentially, by doing this. Fly over. Aha! So, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. We will be putting counters on our guy as well, but we're going to be paying tons here. And yeah, we can do two more. <laughs> okay, so let's do this, 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 um, I guess this, sure. We will do five to, the oh no, yeah, they can't, I thought they would be swinging this turn. I was like, dude, wait, do we win? Um, let's, do we take this out? No, let's just do that to the face. What up, it's your boy Zach. I'm back with another one. It's Naya today. It's a counter deck. Um, I don't want to scare you away though. Um, absolutely insane. Um, we are playing tons of rares and mythics. It's sort of a jumble of all of the best cards, um, in these colors that I would say, um, that share a common theme, and that is hidden fast, hidden hard. Um, so I will sort of start with again the Ozlith here. Every time we put a counter on our guys, we're getting more counters. That's very good. And that obviously um, synergizes with this pretty much same ability from Kami. Kami is a great way of ramping us to the later game. And it's not too hard at all, given that we have four Gallic Breeders as well, to get enough treasure tokens and Kami ramp to start just dropping the big boys. The, those of which I will sort of go over one by one here. But very quickly, I do want to point out like rough triplets, right? Um, this comes down, if it dies, and you put those counters on another guy, then you know it keeps going. It's a very good card. I actually had three copies, but I did end up cutting it down because I actually really liked Kogla and Yadaro as a removal spell um, and just sort of a flexible card as well with the ability plus the, you know, with the activated ability. So very cool. Um, some other incredible notable cards I'll go over right away are All Will Be One. Every time we're doing this, boom, bam, bang, we can take out little 1-1 one, one chunk blockers. Um, we do have a lot of trample in this deck though, so that's not too important, but this could be the final amount of damage as well. Um, you know, cards like Boring Flex definitely help us ensure we get to these final cards as well. And it is another Trample Reach guy, and not too shabby at all. Um, but more importantly, like, than those are perhaps Goldvein Hydra. Now, when this card was revealed, people were like, eh, it's all that good, power creep, this and that. What are you smoking, dude? Uh, this is insane. Uh, it has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Okay, it's an insane creature, a flexible creature, and then when it dies, it's almost, it's almost better dead than alive, which is insane, right? Because then all of a sudden, like, on turn, like, four, say we lay this, like, right? No, say we lay this on turn four, and then it dies, right? Um, we probably casted that as a X is three or X is four. We will have a lot of treasure and stuff. So then it dies, and, like, now all of a sudden we have seven or eight mana, right? And with seven and eight mana in this deck, you can do quite a lot. Um, Siobhan Devastator, same thing. It's a flying creature that has a lot of flexibility. And when we cast these cards, they are getting a lot bigger with our Ozolith and Kami. So it's not too hard to imagine this guy coming in as like a 15-15 in this deck. It's really, really not. Um, and we do have a cute little Enduring Bond Warden. And why are we playing white? Well, an Impical as well makes an insane amount of value when you're putting counters and doubling that up. Um, works very good with the Ozolith as well. Um, Picnic Ruiner, another great card. Sorry, I'm just kind of all over the place. But um, a flexible card, you know, you can cast two halves, adding a lot of depth, um, and then it will have double strike. And a double strike creature with any sort of uh, counters is absolutely insane. But, you know, you're putting three counters onto a Kami and then tapping Kami for at least three mana is unbelievable, right? Um, so, yeah, dude. Primal Adversary, another great card, does get counters, also has trample. Creates a lot of 3-3s. Three um, we do have a cool play in the video. I probably used it as the intro. Um, very good card. Does show up quite a bit today. Um, but, you know, Gala Greeters, while we have it in standard, let's take advantage of it. This is one of the better decks for Gala Greeters I think I've thrown together, in all honesty. Now, Angel Fire Ignition. Say we're losing that lifelink. Absolutely incredible. Also has flashback. You can cast it twice. Very good card. Just one of it here is pretty nice. And the Invigorating Hot Springs. Any of our dudes that do not have haste, well, now we have a way of giving them haste, and it really fits the theme. We can usually win quickly. It's not like a win super, you know, it's not an aggro deck by any means, but it's a turn-the-corner deck, like, all of a sudden, there's a huge amount of power on the field, and they're swinging, and if you don't deal with it, like, that turn, the opponent pretty much loses, right? So that's always nice. Uh, I guess we do have a Simeon Simulacrum. I do like the depth this guy adds, and again, just more ways of ensuring we get counters onto our Kami, um, onto our Gallagher's, 
um, onto our gold vein hydrant, making it bigger than it dies of. Blah 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 blah. BB. Um, what was that? I don't know. A Johnny dude, sleeper agent. Play it while you can. Absolutely fun to you know play with this guy. It gives us a little bit of reach as well. We don't have like too much card draw or anything like that. It is a pretty one dimensional deck, but when it you know it doesn't have so much depth, but it does its job so well. Right? It's one of those. So definitely a nice best of one type of thing. Um. This boy, another reason to play white. Now, we have all of these buffs on our creature, all these counters. If this guy does swing, I mean, it's over. And, and, and you know, half of the dudes have trample, right? Absolutely insane. Um, another card that is near and dear to my heart is this one. Um, this is one of the better four drops, I think, ever printed. Um, I mean, it's truly insane. Uh, I mean, like, it's, it, it, this is insane, um, right? You can make this guy bigger. Say he's, like got five counters on which isn't like ridiculous in this deck it's really not well now you're putting five counters on another guy and then those counters are also getting buffed by Kami and whatever Gallagher's all that stuff this guy is already swinging for a billion damage you put more counters on and now it's a billion plus five so very cool Arlen as well counters with the plus one actually giving us a nice amount of like you know those two wolf tokens usually chunk blockers um, it also gives us like a tr another trampling indestructible dude, more ramp, fits the theme perfectly. Not a bad card either. I don't know why people I think I don't know why people think this is bad. I really don't. Um, you could go with like Luca in this deck, but anyway, foreign clanks, nice little five drive. All we want, I already went over those. So yeah, pretty good stuff. We do have two creature lands that do add counters, which is really good. You could probably up this to three if you wanted to, taking out another of the Boros lands. Um, but I think the numbers we have here are pretty dang perfect we have um i'll just quickly hover them um and i know my head sort of covering some of these cards so hopefully it's not too bad in the intro but it's not really a great place to put it um the surveil definitely helps fix the top of our deck quite a bit um and it will make a big difference being that we don't have so much card draw one boseju and that is pretty much it you know it's uh it's this is kind of my favorite archetype hitting them fast hitting them strong um, there's a lot of popular decks right now with the Ozolith going around that are winning tournaments and things. Um, and I do think that, um, we're sort of all on this something here, right? So if you have all these rares and stuff laying around from some of these like older sets, throw them in. If you could get a couple mythics, maybe to get a couple gold vein hydras, I think you're in business. I think this is a absolutely insane card. So, um, I hugely appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. It feels good to start making these videos again. Um, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I will see you on the arena. Don't forget to like the video. I will love you forever. And have a good one. Okay, so here we are. Um, we do not have our Gallagher's, but we do have a one drop. That's pretty decent. Um, and then the Shivan Devastator, right? Pretty flexible card. So we'll go ahead and keep it. Um, we pretty much never run uh, with this mana base that I have. We've never, I've never ran into a mana problem so far. Uh, I think we have it about perfect. Um, so for example, we will pitch that. I think we have the exact number of surveil cards we probably need. Um, so two or more. Let's go ahead and lay this. Now, do we lay the Devastator? Probably not. But let's do it. <laughs> probably not. Let's do it. Yeah. Totally makes sense. Um, they don't have to cut down, so that's good. But, um, you know, really that Gallagher just is really important, right? Um, Inti, another card to get early. So there it is. That's kind of what we wanted, best case scenario. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> this is more important, plus we have two of these. And then Bukau is awesome. You know, you're never sad to see this in your hand, really. Um, and honestly, the white mana is pretty justified in this um, deck. Like, there are a lot of cards that make it really, really strong. Um... Particularly the um, four drop cat can be absolutely devastating. And we do have a good amount of trample in this deck too. So I think. Yeah, because if we attack, okay. Right, we could ramp, but we don't, we don't have any like big, big drops. Okay, so they did have it. They were pretty patient. Um, I will take that any day. Pitch that. Now, of course, we could have been slightly more efficient there, um, but I wanted to lay a Nympical before combat to try to trigger it, right? So, unfortunate. So, we got to our fifth. 
It's not too hard to do. So, well, we're actually, you know, we have access to six man already. So, really, we don't need any sort of ramp card in this deck at all. Now, let's do this. Okay. What we can do is we can tap the boy. Um, we can make this. Yeah, we'll just make this itself. And then we will be tapped because it's not so end of turn, right? Yeah, it just stays that way. So we will um, tap that. And we will put this probably onto the Kami? No, let's put it onto to him. I think that's fine. Right? Um, Kami would have been good, but um, to be honest, you know, we already have kind of like a ton of mana. And I think it's more just like important to spread this you know spread the range of threat that's probably not the right way of saying that but okay they do remove the land we are getting a lot of their removal out of their hand okay so they're gonna start flying over mm -mm 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 -mm. i say with this we could do the same thing and i think we do do that we'll do it to our forest um, let's go ahead and get in at least two damage. Primal Adversary little showcase. I mean, as an older card, it will be rotating rather soon, but I did have two copies, and it's always been a nice trampoline guy. So this is actually nice because it is a creature land. If it was any other land, I'd be a little sad. Uh, 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 um. And yeah, just drop the Kami. I mean, if they have like a some sort of wrath effect we're not doing so hot we have a lot of threats that we can just slap down as soon as we get them so feeling feeling excited for the top decks here let's see so we lose no we win yeah i was like what's happening okay not too shabby dabby do and this is a good planeswalker i think it's very overlooked um so not too bad we did have the creature land as well let's get to another one to show off definitely you know there's way more cards we want to show off today so game two hopefully another quick one however it might not be because we do have sort of a slower hand we have some of our threats um both these cards are rather nice um the reason i like this guy is because you do get like two activations of them right you can invert them which could be pretty timely. Just giving us another um, dimension of depth, rather. So, I think we just lead this, right? And then this is to a few. Okay. Excuse me, sorry. Very gassy today. Big burping. Kellen, what's up? Okay, okay, I see you, Kellen. So, yeah, we don't really have artifacts or anything to worry about. I mean,. Do we? I mean, oh yeah, we do right here. So, just kidding. Let's do this. I think, I think we lay the hot springs first, right? Because then we can like sort of turn the corner. Um, depends on what we top deck as well. Okay, so flying and vigilance. Very nice card. I actually really like any flying vigilance cards. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's. No, I changed my mind. Let's lay this. If they have any sort of weird um, removal, return to the hand, that's fine. We're going to sort of bait it, right? So we can make some ways for our bigger, more importante cards. Oh, we'll be one, dude, this card. Mm. This is such an awesome card. It's such a cool build around card. I really like cards like this that encourage like a brand new type of like build around, you know? Maybe not necessarily a brand new, but... Okay, nice little three in the ego. Ooh, flyer. So, we shabam shaboom. And then, what do you know, mate? We could almost slap this down. I mean, it'll be like slightly too small, which is rather unfortunate. We could discard this. This for an Oh, yes, 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 quite. I wish this was an artifact. But, I think what we have to do is just this. Which is kind of lame. Um, yeah, no, that would die right away. We couldn't, like, put a counter on it to keep it alive. So, yeah. Might as well just do that. Um. Yeah. I like that. Right? 
because we get um we get around the three damage healing us block if they were to block which would which would be kind of odd um all things considered we don't have like too much haste access this is like one of our only haste creatures um well i say that but actually you know we have we have just one copy of the hot springs to sort of complement some of that um because this is a deck where you you know you don't want the game to go like super duper long um you want usually like your commies and your gallic readers which i hope we could get here soon uh to sort of just like propel you quickly to victory um but it's not going to be like an engine that that uh, is going to outlast like azorius or something right or a you know a couple board wipes kind of devastating so it's not like a super um multi-dimensional deck but it's extremely good at what it, it does right so that's what we're doing today Typical sort of gruel package, but we got some Anaya action for you. So we have the Enormous Bear. I'm going to hit him with the Nice. Nice is pretty pretty good card, especially if you have the Elf cards to build around. So Gala, finally, we got the Gala. So, I'm actually really excited about that. That was a really good top pick. Let's do this. Okay. We can lay this for the two. Okay. I say, yeah, we create champ boy. Um, making this slightly bigger isn't necessarily incredible. Let's just go ahead and put it there. No need to get too hasty. We can pretty much only take like one more turn of, of damage here. Depends on what they do. Oh, wow, interesting. Um, what is that color combination again? Teamer. Teamer. I remember when I first started playing Magic, like, six years ago or so, uh, Teamer Reclamation, was it called? Um, absolutely insane. That one card that allowed you to, like, cast everything again, I think it was? I can't remember. I didn't say anything. Okay, so we'll take the three. <laughs> so, we can actually have fun this turn. I mean, the really cool thing about, you know, this card is, like, it at least gets one of our rough triplets swinging in, which is always nice. Um, I think this is a Yadaro moment, right? Definitely a Yadaro moment. Comes in a big boy. Triggers homie. We definitely, um, fight. Well, is this, yeah, you get off card. Okay, and this is that. Okay, yeah. So let's not have reach though. So yeah, let's get rid of the flyer because that's annoying. Okay. And now we can just go ahead and get his other ability essentially by doing this. Fly over. Um, hmm. No, we don't need to get like overconfident with the gala. Let's hold it up in case we need the chunk block. Um, usually things like that will just like... Your opponent can cheese out a dub out of nowhere. So you don't want to give them any in. Don't give them any oxygen to work with, right? Gala McDala coming on in. You'd love to see it. Okie dokie. That is a thing that can occur, I suppose. <laughs> um, okay. I think that was a good enough game to leave in the video. Um, you know, it's an honest, you know, I want to be transparent with you guys. Um, wow. Okay, so yeah, three times the mana, tons of mana, lay a gold vein. Um, I will, you know, if I had all the mystics and rares in the world, definitely write four Siobhan's, four gold veins. Uh, four Terror of the Peaks, four Dracosaurs, whatever. Maybe a, a ramp card in your three drop slot, some removal in your two drop slot. And I mean, that's a deck, dude. That is a deck. I mean, look at that. Man. So, very cool. Let's get into another one. Okay, game three. Let's showcase some more of the cards. We still didn't get our Gala. Um, and this hand isn't exactly great by any means. Mostly because, right, we got kind of screwed with the land situation. Now, when I was testing this deck, this kind of stuff never happened. But I will take this just to show that the deck should be resilient enough. Um, right, we lay our Kami. We can at least do that. 
There we go. So, we could lay the gold vein right away. It's definitely an idea. Should we? It's not too shabby, but no, let's go ahead. Keep it. That gold vein last match was funny, man. Absolutely funny. Um, if this gets countered, it gets countered. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this is the situation where. Okay. So let's surveil. We're not getting our white mana. Very unfortunate. Um, yeah. Wow. Getting screwed. Um. Let's lay this half. Because next turn, right, we want to slap down all B1. Of course, that would work nicely with this that we sort of skip, but this will bait the counter. So, there it is. Um, I mean, if it's just like counter only deck, then, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because um, I'm, you know, we haven't really had this matchup yet, so. Yeah, countering all will be one is like tough, tough. So, we do a whole lot of this. And let's wait. Do they flash out the boy? Okay, so they finally give us the poison counter, which, um. Counter this, but okay, so yeah, we can't even pay two once they get the three. And then they did have what appears to be an exile card. Lovely, lovely. Now they only have three more cards in hand. We could potentially. Should we try to force the removal? Should we keep up two is a question. Should we keep up the two or should we risk it for the biscuits? Yeah, dumb of me, but <gasps> exile, exile. Yeah, it's exile. No, they don't. Okay, so we waited. <laughs> we we played it right, ladies and gents. We just got we just had that feeling in our toes. You know what I'm saying? Man, I hate going against like Demir when I'm trying to like showcase like a deck. It's really, especially toxic Demir. Like, are people are really still playing this. I could only play that for like literally like two games and I was like, okay, like Lorraine, like Voidwing, like this is a great cool card. It really actually sort of brings the deck together, but I mean, this is not an enjoyable deck to spam, right? Like, I guess if you're super trying to win, but this is like, yeah, we're in silver, dude. Like, chill, chill. Wow. Um, interesting land flood of non-white. That is just awesome. Do we let this now? Let's swing first and see what happens. Okay. Bunch of treasure. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm hmm. So, yeah, whenever any sort of counter, um, including like ability counters and stuff, or um, time counters, or any sort of those weird interaction things it will trigger so there's like tons of cool very obscure build arounds with this card it's such a good one such a good card okay so of course we're you know we're at four now we're not too worried by any means but uh yeah i mean dude like i mean let's cycle this but of course the ozolith is like Insane, right? Okay, so there's this, but it's like, uh, okay, okay. We will be able to at least ping this, though. So that feels pretty decent. Um, go ahead. Go ahead and counter my one drop. I will take that. So it's top deck city time, but I mean, like, we couldn't really ask for a better, you know, well, we could. Aha! So, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we will be putting counters on our guy as well, but we're going to be paying tons here. Okay, yeah, we can do two more. 
Okay, so let's do this, 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 um, I guess this, sure. We will do five to, oh no, yeah, they can't, I thought they would be swinging this turn. I was like, dude, wait, do we win? Um, let's, do we take this out? No, let's just do that to the face. Yeah, we're face goers, dude. Not too shabby dabby, dude. I mean, they could get to, to 10 here. They have three cards in their hand. It's it's entirely possible. Um, hopefully, one of those is a counter, though. And as long as we don't cast anything next turn, um, we should be fine. We need four of these to connect. We have six creatures, so. This does have trample if they don't remove that. So that actually, yeah. Good game. Got him. Um, okay. So let's pretend that we got Gala greeters every game. Gala was doing his thing. Um, right into the Kami, right into the all will be one. We have Gruff triplets. We have some other big threats to the uh, Carnosaur, I believe it's called the Convoke guy. Um, and it just works really good. I mean, you know, we got to see, see that a little bit. Um, of course, we did get sort of grouped with our white mana, um, but Goldvein Hydra or Shivan Devastator just comes down. It's insane. You know, we cast it for like X is six, just six to the face. Siobhan swinging for six. That's 12 right there. Like, it's just very easy to do. I mean, this isn't like the build around by any means, but. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the deck. Um, I have do have some similar versions of this deck that I came out a couple months ago with. And um, I hope you enjoyed those. If you do, go and check them out. If you like this one, give it a like. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sub for more. And I'll see you in the next one.